Now, to this point, there has been no response from the NFL Players Union. And the release of that video showing the violent assault of Rice's then fiance and subsequently his suspension from the NFL and Ravens team is raising a lot of questions about the NFL suspension policy and why Rice's wife, Janae Palmer, married him and is still with him. A local victim advocate says it's possible Palmer is afraid to leave or that she didn't recognize the signs of domestic violence. Even that there could be other incidents the public doesn't know about because they weren't captured on camera. But today's tougher new domestic violence policy released by the NFL is a step in the right direction for those who commit crimes of domestic violence. Something's working. I think that's what our reaction is right now. We've always been out there. We've always been trying to advocate for domestic violence victims. And I think because of who it was and the recording and you know, the video footage, um, it caused such an uproar that everyone just, you know, just decided to speak up about it and say, no, a two-game suspension was not good enough. And if you or a friend is experiencing signs of domestic violence, don't be afraid to ask for help or encourage your friend to do so. Don't force your friend to leave, but instead listen to their story. And if you need help, don't hesitate to call Twin City Missions 24-hour hotline at 979-775-5355.